This is Wii U. It's an entirely new console from Nintendo that fundamentally changes the relationship between you and your TV, your high-def gaming console, the internet, and how you, your friends, and family all connect. And this is the Wii U gamepad. It's used to control the Wii U. The most notable feature about the gamepad is the personal second screen. Seamlessly integrated with your television, this screen offers easy access to maps and menus, a new view into your gaming world, and creates dynamic new forms of gameplay. It opens a new window of possibilities. The touch feature offers simple and intuitive control. The touch screen works with your fingertip or the stylus, letting you handwrite notes and even draw pictures. The Wii U gamepad can even be used by itself when the TV is in use. When Dad wants to watch the baseball game on TV, many games can be pulled down onto the gamepad so you can keep playing. A staple to Nintendo controllers, the Plus Control Pad is great for playing timeless classics from the NES days and for everything from menu selections to shortcut commands in modern games. The left and right analog control sticks offer the full range precision controls that are crucial in shooters, sports and action adventure games. And both sticks can be pressed down, which means they each act as additional buttons. The four button array of the A, B, X and Y buttons, made famous by the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, is now the standard on most modern controllers. These four buttons will be very familiar to gamers of all ages. Below the controller are the trigger-like ZL and ZR buttons. They sit comfortably under the index finger when holding the gamepad, making them de facto triggers in shooting games. The L and R buttons are the two bumpers on the upper corners. They round out the four shoulder buttons common to many modern controllers, making cross-platform development easy for prospective developers. Between the shoulder buttons is the infrared transceiver. It can be used to control your TV and communicate with other devices and hardware accessories. The built-in camera and microphone will not only be used for interesting software applications, but will also allow you to engage in voice and video chats with friends. The accessory connector allows new accessories that will be introduced by Nintendo and third parties to work with the gamepad. There are stereo speakers, a headphone jack, and volume controls that can adjust sound on the gamepad. The start and select will control pause and menu functionality, but can be used as needed by developers. The power button is always good to have on the controller for turning the system on and off from the couch. And this is the TV control button. It's used to call out the TV remote features. You can use it to quickly access TV controls like the volume, whether you're playing a game or not. Use it even when the Wii U is turned off. Motion controls using the accelerometer and gyroscope built into the gamepad make all kinds of novel gameplay possible. The games available at launch show the only limits are the creativity of the developers. The rumble feature, a standard for Nintendo home consoles since the Nintendo 64, lets you feel all the gameplay action right in the palms of your hands. Lastly, the home button. It got its start on the Wii, but it's become crucial on the Nintendo 3DS. Being able to suspend a game, check the home menu for updates, and then continue gameplay has become second nature and will become even more important on the Wii U. There are all kinds of possibilities, but some include checking out the online status of friends or searching for software updates. The Wii U Gamepad for Wii U. It redefines how you play with home entertainment.